So I want to talk to you about using some safety equipment when you're painting. I don't want to sound like your mom, but paint is, automotive paint is full of some pretty nasty chemicals. Unless you're talking about the water-based base coats, but um, those aren't the, what you're normally going to see yet. So all your base coats, your clear coats, your primers, all that kind of stuff are based in some sort of like acetone or some sort of real nasty stuff is the actual liquid carrier that contains the paint itself. And believe it or not, your skin will absorb those nasty chemicals. I've seen a few videos on YouTube of some kids in his garage painting a car with just a respirator and he may have shorts and no t-shirt on and you really don't want to do that. This stuff really is pretty nasty. It's a lot of it is cancer causing. So some of the things that you really want to try and use is number one, a shoot suit, a paint suit. They're usually some sort of a Tyvek material that they come with hoods, come without hoods. It's a full length suit. This one happens to have elastic around the wrist and the ankles. Um, with these suits, you want to make sure you get one that is for automotive painting. Um, I bought mine at an Ace hardware store. I would assume you can find them at a True Value, your big box home improvements, your um, Home Depot, your Lowe's. You can buy them online. Um, if you haven't heard of it, check out a website called TCP Global. It's a really good website. They carry anything and everything body and paint related, from paint guns to equipment to paint itself, everything. Check it out, it's a cool website. Um, so, the suit will keep the nasty stuff off of your skin, which you want to keep off your skin. All that overspray contains nasty chemicals. There's a reason you wear this, to keep that stuff out of your lungs. We also don't want that stuff on your body. And your eyes will also absorb a lot of nasty stuff too. So if you feel like spending the money, you can buy a fresh air hood. It's like a whole mask that seals around your head. Usually there's a hose and it's got some sort of an air, it'd be a filter that's around your waist or something like that. Bare minimum, you wanna have a good respirator. Uh, these respirators are charcoal activated, meaning when you pop the bag, you pop the bag open, you pop your seals off, it, the charcoal immediately starts to absorb what's around it. When you're breathing through it, obviously you're, it's gonna work harder because the air is passing through the activated charcoal. So if it comes with a resealable bag, this is a big giant Ziploc bag. Take it out of the bag, you use it. When you're done with it, put it back in the bag. Don't let any unnecessary air circulate around these filters and contaminate them. How do you know when your respirator is bad? Uh, there's two ways. One, you leave your, if you got a good seal, you want to make sure you got a good seal around your face. You don't want any air going around when you're breathing. You want it to only come through the filters. If you start smelling a lot of paint, these filters are not working properly. They need to be tossed out, replaced, get a new respirator. Sometimes you can change just the filters. A lot of times the elastic gets all stretchy. So these, these respirators are, I don't know, nine, 15 bucks. You know, it's, it's cheap insurance for your health. Um, and the other way is if the filters get plugged, it gets very hard to breathe. You can't suck in, it feels like you're suffocating. Then you know the filters are shot. And then the same thing, you can buy a new respirator or replace the filters. Lastly, you want some good chemical resistant gloves. Um, nitrile are usually the ones that are the most chemically resistant. Your basic nylon, or not nylon, uh, vinyl and um, latex gloves can't handle the lacquer thinners and the acetones and and just the paint themselves, they'll actually melt and they'll just like fall apart on your hands. So make sure that when you buy these gloves, it says on here, you know, resistant to chemical, oil, all that kind of stuff. And when you're handling paint, when you're cleaning your paint gun, when you're physically touching any of those nasty things, you wanna have gloves on. 
Because just like your eyes and your skin, um, your cuticles will actually absorb at a higher rate than, than just your skin will. I've heard of people that get like uh, manicures all the time, women, they'll get some sort of weird cancer and they attribute it to all of the acetone, the, the nail polish remover that's used to constantly take their nail polish off to get their nails repainted. It just gets sucked right into your cuticle. It's nasty stuff, so protect yourself from it. Um, especially when you're cleaning your paint gun, depending on how you clean it, you know, you're going to be uh, sticking a rag in there and wiping stuff out. You may have some lacquer thinner or acetone in there. You, I mean, you don't want to be sticking your hand with a rag in that stuff and just sloshing it all over your skin. So you really want to use some gloves. Just protect yourself. It's for your health. It's cheap insurance. A box of gloves is like 10 bucks. You get 100 gloves. The respirator can last you, if you keep it sealed, you know, four or five paint jobs possibly. And this paint suit, you know, I think I paid, again, like maybe $15 for this thing. And these can last you a year, depending on how much you paint. So just protect yourself from the nasty chemicals, okay?